Okay then, I'm gonna demonstrate a couple of things about layout. I thought I'd do linear and radial gradients. So let's see, I'll switch to the gradient tool. Pressing T and Shift T, I will toggle between all the tools. So let's see, there's, there's the gradient tool. I can drag out a gradient here. Uh, the gradients at the edges, you can drag around and, and kind of resize the gradient. The gradient exists as its own object. It's not like a fill property or anything like that. It's, it's entirely its own thing. So let's see, oops, didn't want to do that. So click on the gradient I just made. Then you can drag around the edges, or you can drag one of the edges around. And let's see, I'll make that a little bit in more. You can drag the edges, that scales the color strips there. Or you can grab onto the colors, color point there, then drag it around like that if you so choose. Then if you want to add a point inside, you press shift and press down, and then up inside the gradient somewhere, and that produces a, another color that you can drag, drag around. <coughs> you can go down to this color box down here, if you hold down the left button and drag back and forth, that changes the red component. If you hold down the right button, it changes the blue component. If you hold down the green button, it changes the green component. So let's see, let's make that a, a green thing there. Then let's add another point there. And then let's make that a kind of a, an orangish, an orangish yellow ochre. So let's see, there's your, there's your two points in there. Let's say I want to move both points now. I can select that point and press shift and that selects the other point too. Then if you hold down shift and then click and drag, that moves those points all the way along any point in the color strip. Now let's say you want to do the same thing for the, the endpoints. Normally you drag it around and it scales the entire gradient like that, drags it around, but if you hold down the shift key, then it'll shift that point, thus the shift key, so you can drag it anywhere along the color strip. And you can uh, grab all these other things and do the same thing, drags it anywhere it can. Uh, one thing I'd like to point out, though, these things and a lot of a lot of other applications, uh, they're called stops. So, I mean, what's the point of calling it a stop? I just never understood that. So here's a, you start out at one stop, and then you kind of, I guess you can go, and then you can go, la 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 la, then you come to another stop, that's, and then just stopped. And I don't know what, you got to go run and, and get some more ink or something before you can go on to the next stop. Well, in any case, it makes more sense to call them spot, so... If you hear me refer to them as spot, it's not because I'm ignorant, it's just because I prefer to call them spots. Well, in any case, well, that's ra linear gradients, so how about radial gradients? If you press the R key, that magically transforms it into a radial radiant, then you can drag the, the circle there. The radial radiants in laid out are, they go from one circle to another circle, and from each circle has its own different radius. So if you just click on the, the out at the edge circle of one end, you can scale the radius of it, and you, if you hold down the shift button and move it back and forth, uh, you can reposition the circle. Same for the other one. You can resize the radius, or you can move it around. Now let's see. Then say you don't want that circle, you just want a, a completely filled color. When you're hovering over that circle, if you press the delete key, that'll remove the radius of it, so it's just a point there. Then that, that sort of gradient will be very familiar to people of users of other programs. If you want that circle back, uh, if you hold down shift and control, that'll re that'll give you that circle back. So I wanna, don't want that radius. Well, uh, moving the points around for radial gradients moves pretty much the same as linear gradients. However, uh, when you go towards the middle, it's sort of it doesn't. It behaves a little peculiarly. There's no real rational sense to it, but I, I was programming it one day, and it just kind of came out that way, where it's the colors shift around like that, and it just seems so psychedelic and cool. So I, I thought I'd just leave it like that, just because it's cool. Well, anyway, I guess that's the uh, that's it for gradients. Thank you for listening.